Hello and welcome to Estrill for the opening rounds of the 2016 International GT Open. Promises to be a great year of competition with a new look grid. Reigning champions turn Martin Motorsport are back, but this time with a brace of BMW M6s. We've got two McLarens from the Garage 59 team and the Orange One, Team Lazarus, Lamborghini amongst others. It promises to be a super season of action. Well, let's get straight in to the racing. New look grid for the new season of the International GT Open and it was the Orange One at Team Lazarus Lamborghini Huracan, Fabrizio Cristani who led into the opening turn of the 2016 season. Behind there are problems for James Abbott, he rotated the radical RXC to the rear of the pack. The early stages were characterised by a great scrap, Cristani holding off the Garage 59 McLaren of Duncan Tappy. Tappy eventually snuck through, so left the door open for Phil Keane in the Valve Motorsport Ferrari to follow. Fernando Monnier. Martin Motorsport BMW keeping a watching brief. Behind there was a great scrap as Alexander West in the second Garage 59 McLaren tried to find a way past the yeah, of course Ferrari Thomas Fleur. Post pit stops it was Michael Benham who was clear of Thomas Biaggi but Benham running wide noted Baggi, Biaggi at the wheel the Lamborghini absolutely flying until he caught Andre Saravia drive X Audi. Saravia kept Biaggi at bay that allowed Kevin Estre Garage 59 McLaren to close up. All the while though, out front, Bill Kitten and Sean Bow were romping clear, but then there was contact. Ravia got rotated into the gravel trap. Went for him, promotion for Estre. But it was victory, and a very popular one at that. Sean Bow and Phil Keane in the Bow Motorsport Ferrari, their maiden victory in the International GT Open. Find second place on the BMW's debut for the Terra Martin Motorsport entry of Gustavo Jakerman and Fernando Monnier. Third on the road went to Estre and West but unfortunately they were demoted following that move on Saravia and that promoted Rizzio Cristani and Thomas Biaggi to third place overall. Very popular home victory in the GTM class, Silva and Antonio Coimbra in Mercedes. getting a bit of stick from Phil that it was about time we got back on the on the top step um, Phil's efforts really set it all up so uh, it made it as, as easy it can be amongst a, a field of that quality um, I just kept pushing and the team were good talking to me about my pace so Phil set it up I brought it home it was teamwork everybody it was all teamwork and Estoril seems uh, a circuit suited for you yeah, no, we've always done well here. You know, the, the team have stepped up the game this year and the car's been, you know, run faultlessly and Sean's improved no end as a driver. So it all uh, all adds to the, you know, team effort. Everyone's done brilliantly. On to race two, and it was Kevin Estre who took the early advantage. Garage 59 McLaren ahead of a Yakman, TMR to most support BMW. Let's go Castellacci and they have, of course, Ferrari. A cleaner start this time around, but again, some great dice in the early stages, at least. There's Stefan Lemeray and they have, of course, Ferrari was having a super scrap. Eventually, Yakiman faded and had to give way to a charge in Castellacci. Of course, that had allowed Kevin Estre to go and build a nice big lead. So flying was Thomas Biaggi in the orange one Lazarus Lamborghini. While race one winner Sean Balfe was struggling to make ground, and the same went when Phil Keane took over, but eventually Keane got his elbows out, was able to carve away past Fernando Monnier. Aggressive move, but one that was absolutely necessary. The front of the field, Alexander West was leading the way, but he was being chased down late on by Fabrizio Cristani. Cristani really making the Lamborghini work well. A good scrap for GTM honours, and once more it was Luis Silva and Antonio Coimbra who were prevailing. This was the drama of the race. The last lap, contact between Cristani and West. Disaster for Alexander West, but mixed emotions for Garage 59 because that instant promoted Duncan Tappy and Michael Benham to score victory there and the team's debut weekend in the International GT Open. It was a fine second place for Cesar Campanico, Andres Saravia, and third place going to Cristani and Biaggi. Italian driver was able to escape the gravel trap. Huge grins from Benham and Tappy on the top step of the podium. ETM class, double victory 
Silva and Coimbra in the sporting new Mercedes. Next stop, Spa. Just an unbelievable end to our first weekend in this championship. Uh, you know, for me, I was just trying to stay as close to the guys in front as possible and give Duncan the car and as uh, far forward as possible, not too far behind in time, and just uh, and try, try and give him the best opportunity. So obviously it was an uh, amazing result, unbelievable result. Duncan, how was the final lap? You know, it was a surprise to me. I could see that they were dicing and it, they were probably a bit too far ahead unless they were uh, really going to slow each other up. So I was kind of thinking, well, if they're going to be dicing like that, something could happen. And that's exactly what happened. And, you know, what more could be asked for? You know, our first race together, you know, all credit to this man here, you know, his first proper GT race, you know, and, you know, we, we've won it. It's just amazing, really. So thank you to McLaren. Thank you to, uh, to Mike for making it happen. And uh, hopefully this is uh, to many more.